Welcome to The Evil Within 2. I really didn't expect to find myself playing this game, but I watched about an hour of somebody streaming it. They had an early access copy, and it actually looked like a lot of fun. Make no mistake, this is a very silly game. It's a very gamey game. I mean, for God's sakes, the protagonist is a 40s grizzled white male cop who's literally searching for his daughter. It can't get more cliched than that, but it just looks like a lot of fun. So, let's dive into it. And no, knowledge of the previous game is not really important. I don't think the story really matters. The first game was... oh man. The first game was just... It was interesting. Fun to watch, but I wouldn't want to play it. I just started a, a new game before, just to test out some settings. So I'm just going to overwrite that. Alright, so there's three difficulties. Uh, I'm going to play on Nightmare. So this is recommended for players who enjoy the difficulty of the previous game. The difficulty of the previous game, from what I saw when people played it, didn't seem too extreme. So I'm hoping this isn't just ridiculously hard. And anyway, I can always turn the difficulty down if I want to. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to stick with Nightmare. Alright, there's going to be like 20 minutes of cutscenes. So, hold my hand, we'll get through this. Not happening. This part right here you actually get to play before it goes into more cutscenes, so I actually really appreciate that. But there will be a lot of cutscenes right after this. Oh god, Lily! Also, this game's kind of beautiful. This is it on low settings, by the way. <laughs> this is on low. Damn it! I'm here! Where are you? Oh god, is she upstairs? How did this happen? I'm coming, Lily! Hold on! I'm here, Lily! I'm here! Uh. Lily? Come on out! Lily! Where are you? I'm here! Dad's here! You weren't here for me, Dad. Hello, Sebastian. It's been a long time. Three years. I've been trying to track you down for three years. And you thought you'd find me at the bottom of an empty bottle. Is that it? And why are you here now, damn it! You didn't find me because they didn't want you to. Calm down, Sebastian. You knew what was gonna happen in that hospital, didn't you? 
What happened at Beacon is in the past. You need to forget it. You sound just like that psychologist that force shoved down my throat. But he didn't have answers. You do. You're gonna tell me... about Mobius. <laughs> I'm here because of this. Lily's still alive. <gasps> Lily is dead! I read the police report! I was at her funeral! We can rewrite history if we want to. Staging a death is child's play. Why would I come out of the shadows just to lie to you? Lily is alive. And she's with us. But she's in danger. We need you to help save her. Save her? What have you done to her? Get your hands off me! I was hoping you'd come willingly, Sebastian. But we don't have time for this bullshit. We need you. Lily needs you. Good. Yeah. Great. Where are we? And by the way, I just looked it up on my phone because I was... I, I thought this was the case, but I wasn't sure. Kidman is voiced by the person who played... I think her name is Deborah, Dexter's sister? In Dexter? You're in one of our facilities. So this is the almighty Mobius, huh? Be careful about what you say. You don't know how powerful they are. Right. So powerful they have to kidnap a washed-up ex-cop to help them. <laughs> At least your terrible sense of humor is still intact. Enough of this bullshit. Where's Lily? Patience. All your answers are right here. The Beacon Mental Hospital incident was... an unfortunate setback. But we used the knowledge gained to build a new and vastly improved STEM system. What does this have to do with my daughter? Imagine it. Millions of minds connected together. Happiness for one is happiness for all. This machine, this miracle, will allow our species to achieve greatness. We needed to start with a mind that was pure and clean enough to support thousands of personalities. The mind of an innocent child. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you connected Lily to that machine? <clears throat> Your daughter is quite special. The most stable core candidate we've ever tested. Thanks to her, the new STEM has been a smashing success. Until recently. A little over a week ago, Lily vanished. Just stopped sending signals. Then the STEM environment began to collapse. We thought it was just a technical glitch. An easy fix, so we sent a team of Mobius agents inside. But then we lost contact with them, and STEM went dark. Think about this, Mr. Castellanos. I am providing you an opportunity. Not only to see your daughter again, but to save her life. 
Something you thought you failed to do before. You can save her, or let her die. It's your choice. His dad beard is so exquisitely rendered. Good luck, Sebastian. And please, try to cooperate with any team members you might find in there. I know you don't trust us, but they have the same goals as you do. That's all right. I'm fine by myself. Just remember to call me the moment you find Lily, so that we can begin the extraction process. I'll be out here for you. And someone else will be in there for you. Are you ready? Be careful in there, Sebastian. We're counting on you. Someone else will be in there for you. It sounds like she's kind of working as a inside agent, and she's actually on his side. I really don't know anything about the story, by the way. I watched people play through the first game, but I did not pay attention to the story. Stem entry in three, two, one. Really is a fantastic looking game. Is this where am I? I know it's hard to accept Myra, but she's gone. Our little girl is gone. No. I'll never accept it. If you won't help me, I'll find out the truth on my own. What the hell is this place? Detective, we've got a call. Your mind has adjusted. You're in an area separate from the main system right now. 
That's how we're able to maintain communication with you. This construct is called your room. It's a safe zone that was formed from your own memories. My memories, huh? If that's the case, then where are my wife and child? This place looks like my old office at Crimson City PD. It was your subconscious that built it. You should ask yourself that question. Let's get down to business. We sent some information into your room. Do you see anything unfamiliar? He only has three things that he likes. Doing policing, his wife, and his child. The life of a video game protagonist. Still can't get over how good it looks. Even just look at the shine on the table, the reflection of the lamp on it. Gorgeous. Um, let me check something. There we go. I just turned up the field of view to max. My first commendation. Feels like another lifetime. I guess because it was. It's a commendation for having a sweet dad beard. And loving my wife and kids. Lily drew this picture of me. It was burned up along with everything else in the house. Oh, physics. Coat rack physics. Is there like a zoom in button? I want to read that, but I can't. I think it's too blurry to read anyway. There are photos of a bunch of Mobius agents here. Your lost team, I assume. That's them. Let us know if you locate any of them. You're our only line of communication into STEM. They're stuck in Union and searching for Lily, too. Union? This STEM environment was designed to look and feel like a small town called Union. Great. So your experts need rescuing, too, huh? If anyone can do it, it's you. Thanks for the vote of confidence, but I'm only here to find Lily. There's more info there. You should check it out before you go. Is that a cat? A cat? I don't ever remember owning a cat. Hello. Oh. It's <laughs> the cat itself is a present. It's got a little bow tie on it. It's very much a Halloween cat. It's got very red eyes. Slide projector. Where did my memory dig this up? Elementary school? A relic from a pre-phone camera era. These are mostly uh, found mostly in old people's attics and estate sales. They can be viewed using the slide projector in Sebastian's room. See, you can tell that was happier times because he didn't have a protagonist dad beard. The myth goes that the more daughters you're missing, the longer your beard is. Can I pet the cat? I really should be able to pet the cat. just make regular doors. <laughs> save terminal. Can be used to save your progress at any time. They can be found at safe houses and in Sebastian's room. Okay, am I missing anything before I go? Any doors I can open or something? This game looks so good. Alright, let's go. 
Here we go again. Into the looking glass. While on cover, you can press space to do something. Oh no! <laughs> Lily, what's wrong? My doll's head is broke. It's okay. Mom can fix it for you. She can fix anything. Dad's hands only know how to hold guns. They can't sit, they can't stitch or sew anything. Sebastian? What's wrong? Are you all right? I've got a wonderful family. An amazingly smart and beautiful wife. Why wouldn't I be all right? Come here, Myra. You've been working too hard. It's making you delirious. Are you sure you're not coming down with something? the right place I look for secrets? I feel like there probably won't be secrets this early on. This painting kind of reminds me of that painting from Twin Peaks. The one in Fire Walk with me. The movie. Is this? <laughs> what I can take pictures of him? No thanks. Dying in a loop. actually take a picture. Is 
Now. Sadistic. Whoever did this must have enjoyed it. That was a description, but it doesn't really say anything new. Uh, search team leader, he was frozen in time when I found him. This must have been taken by the camera right by him, but how is this even possible? Well, you could turn it over. Someone tried to block the way out. Or in. Manuela Roberto's room. Can't climb over it. Extravagant letter to applicant SV. Congratulations, truth seeker. Thank you for taking our spiritual acuity test. Or acuity test, rather. We're pleased to welcome you to the next level of knowledge. Please report to the nearest Mew Center with this letter to ascend from probationary applicant to the position of Mew Disciple. I think that's pronounced Mew and not Mew. This letter guarantees you an exalted position at the next cleansing ceremony. And handwritten on the back of the envelope, lies all lies. Grand. I still can't get over how gorgeous this game is. I guess it's just because I haven't played many AAA games recently. Games are looking good. <laughs> they look really good. Help! Help me! Hey! Damn it! What's going on here? Cool.
was that? Shit. Space hold, enter cover when the cover icon is displayed. Okay. I like how when everybody dies in this place, apparently they get their own little, like, constantly repeating tableau dimension. Move around. And you can move around corners without breaking cover. It's actually like a prompt and you gotta like press the direction for a bit and then you switch around cover. Okay. And yeah, you have to hold down space or you come out of it. Just like the search team, by the way. I gotta find a way out of here. I'm loving the imagery in this game so far. It's nice to see creepy imagery that isn't just yet another mental asylum or something like that. Looks like it's blocked up there. Is that? Christ. Rebirth.
They have physics. <laughs> the room changed. God damn it. What the hell is that thing? <laughs> oh God. Hallway. Long hallway, of course. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Don't know what you are, but I hope you're gonna help me. Oh, that doesn't help. You need to struggle. I'm struggling. Hello, for all its ten faces. health regeneration. When your health is critically low, the life gauge will turn red. While the life gauge is red, it will automatically regenerate up to a certain point. Regenerate more quickly if you stand still, so try to find a safe place to hide and recover when in critical condition. Okay. Ah, like now. There we go. Got a survival knife. Oh, by the way, I just want to mention, I did watch somebody play this for about an hour, but I did not watch them play the beginning of it, so I've, I've literally never seen this at all. I think when I came into the stream, it was maybe two or three hours into the game. And now where am I?
journal in an abandoned house. The handwriting in this journal is neat and precise. The final entry reads as follows. Just got the call. Now I know the reason for all the weird shit that's been happening the last few days. It's the worst possible scenario, but at least I don't have to pretend anymore. The things I've seen. They've all changed. It's too late to save them. It's time to put my training to practice. May God have mercy on their souls. And mine. So that must be an agent or some sort of a plant? Don't have to pretend anymore? I guess they were pretending everything was normal. And then they got a call from, I'm presuming, Kidman. Tab to navigate to the info. Files. Okay. What do I have in my inventory? Just the survival knife. Ooh, I think it's a health syringe. Origin of the medication in these portable syringes is unknown, but they provide moderate health restoration. Ah, so there's a quick menu. Ah, uh, a bunch of stuff here. Shortcuts. Highlight a weapon, then press one of the shortcut keys to assign it to a shortcut slot. Okay, pretty normal. Green gel, red gel, weapon parts, high grade weapon parts, all sorts of stuff. I've only got one thing in this menu right now, though. Stock 1, max 3. Can only hold 3 medical syringes? Photo of Castellano's family. This photo. I thought this was lost in the fire forever. I remember when we took this. Lily's breath smelled like cotton candy. Myra never looked more beautiful. Oh my god. What did I get myself into? Kidman? Sebastian, where have you been? We lost you. I don't know. But it sure as hell wasn't a quaint little town. There's something bad happening in here, Kidman. Baker is dead. There's a killer running around in here, doing things that are... It's like Beacon all over again. What the fuck did you just send me into? I don't know. We're in the dark out here. Baker was the team leader. If he's dead, that doesn't bode well for the rest of them. Keep searching around. The more info you gather, the more I'll be able to help you. Yeah. Sure. Ah, the last chance pack. You've acquired the following items from the last chance pack. So, <laughs> this is a pre-order thing. I did pre-order it, like, four hours before it came out, after I already knew it seemed like a fun game to play. So, everyone don't normally pre-order stuff, but if you happen to know the game's already going to be something you want to play, then, eh, okay. And this is one of the rewards. So, sure. I'll take it. Burst handgun. This automatic pistol fires three-shot bursts and can do more damage than the standard semi-automatic handgun, even though it shares the same ammunition. Hmm. Sounds bad for ammo conservation, and I know ammo conservation is pretty huge, especially on the Nightmare difficulty. I think the description for the Nightmare difficulty said you won't be able to find very much ammo at all, and you're gonna have you're gonna have to craft most of it. Gunpowder can be used to craft ammunition. Used for crafting, upgrading, and stuff like that. Yep, yep, yep. Better than a medical syringe. Alright, so now we got them all, huh? 
No, I can switch between the two. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the semi-automatic. Just for ammo conservation. So let me assign that to one as the shortcut. I guess I'll assign this to two as the shortcut. And I don't know, I'll put this on three for now. I hope I don't accidentally press that and use it. I, actually, I should probably unassign that. How do you unassign it? Uh, I'll just put it on eight. more accurate when you're standing still. Makes sense. Crouching doesn't seem to do anything. Herbs. It's Resident Evil all over again. So one of the big differences from what I've seen about this compared to the original is the original is very linear, whereas this one's actually kind of open, wor open world. There's even, like, optional side quests. What about my knife? What if I wanted to use that? I don't see that in the selection. Eh, I'll figure it out. Oh my god, I think Sebastian's shirt actually gets wet in the rain. It does, doesn't it? Ugh. Son of a bitch. Left here to rot like this. Oh, okay, so if you just don't hold right click to aim with the pistol and you just click, then it uses the knife. Okay. Ugh. Oh, oh, oh. Flies. Might be something. Ugh. Might be something I can get in here? There's lots of stuff. That is amazing attention to detail. The flies actually fly out when you break the glass. Mm. I was hoping I'd be able to, like, actually get something, but I guess I'm just breaking the glass for no reason. Alright. Sorry. Sebastian. It was just a small, quiet town. Yeah. Too quiet. Probably gonna fight our first enemy pretty soon, I imagine. Yeah. Hello? Hey! She had to have heard me. Better check it oh, out. Oh, come on, Sebastian. She's clearly making creepy zombie noises. Sebastian, let me play. I'm better at this than you are. Hello? Skin and bones, eat. Gotta eat. Skin and bones. Gotta eat. Clean your plate. You gotta eat. Skin and bones.
Oh, there's some more coming. Okay. Oh, I don't even have another freaking magazine. I've only got four shots left. Okay, so I know one thing you can do is stealth kills with a knife. If you catch them unaware. I think you can pretty much instantly kill them without using any ammo. Are they going to come in or what? Guess I'll take a look around. Oof. Let me get her goo. This is like the currency of the game. It's gross and it usually comes from dead enemies, but if you collect it, you can use it to obtain increased abilities. Maybe I'll leave by the top floor if I can. Nope, never mind, I guess I can't. There's like no windows. Ammo? Yeah, it's not happening. Can't hide under the bed. Damn, it's not out last. What's that prompt I keep seeing? W plus E to climb. What? Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. Can I just break this with my knife? Am I really supposed to just open the front door? Alright. Oh. If you're sprinting, you automatically vault over stuff. Cool. Let me just make sure there's no other way out. Alright. Oop, there we go. I think I angered them. I love the sound they make. They they literally, like, say roar. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Oh, shit. Oh. Ooh. Oh, wow. Whew. Nightmare, huh? That hurts. Okay, I didn't expect them to go that exact way. Alright, it's fine. Let's hide in a better place this time. Let's go grab the ammo, though. Oh, shit. Probably should have hid behind the door, huh? Ah. It's not quite coming up here. Okay. Nice and quiet. Oop. Let's wait for it to pick a direction. It's probably going to move soon. Or not? Should I just go down? Nope. 
Oh, shit. Ah. Ah, oh, Christ, get off me. Oh, shit. I think I might be dead. Well, not quite. Or, wait, no, I think I'm dead. Yeah, yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> Nightmare's hard, wow. They really fly, like, fling their face around, so... It, it really saw me. It's alright, I'll get better. Maybe I should just shoot it. No. Oh, no. That didn't work out too well. I thought when I got near, there'd be a prompt for like a knife kill. I don't know. I didn't see anything. Ew, wiggly worms. Kidman. That was fast. Did you learn anything new? Yeah, I did. I learned that it really is like Beacon in here. The people in here are turning into creatures. Damn it. What the hell happened? I don't know. But it means that Lily is in more danger than just being lost. Sebastian. Save it, Kidman. Leave it to me. I'm gonna find her. Five shots left. make this thing play music, I guess, as a distraction. Interesting. <laughs> Melee attack, break crates, deal minor damage. Emphasis on minor. Let's do it. Haha! <laughs> Reinforced crates, huh? I wonder if you can break those in the future. Maybe you get a sledgehammer or something. I don't know. Look, just look at the reflections. Look at the reflections of those headlights in the water. Look at that. Calm down, Sebastian. We're glad you're here. Automatic gunfire? Mm. 
Those are definitely monsters. And I'm definitely not equipped to take them on. Okay, this is this is gonna be really important. Self and snake skills. Enter snake mode. Enemies are specially drawn to sound. Crouch movements can help conceal the sounds of your footsteps. F attack unaware enemies from behind with sneak skill. Uh, sneak kill. Okay, so you have to be behind them. I know for some reason when I watched somebody play through the game a little bit, it didn't seem like they really needed to be behind them, but I guess so. Well, I'm not getting near that one anymore. Christ, there's so many of them. My quest is to go after that person? I've got eight shots. I could be daring, I guess, and uh, see if I can turn on the music in this car as a distraction, but then they're all going to come here, right? Maybe I'm not supposed to kill them. Maybe I can just lure them away. Let me, let me grab this Nern root here. I'm not going to bother with the car thing. Full H can be used for concealment. Oh, we got a bottle over here. Can use that to distract him, I guess. Throwing bottles can make enough noise to distract enemies. After purchasing the bottle break skill, bottles can also be used to break out of some enemies' grab attacks. Huh. Oop, calm down. Christ, none of them were in range of it. That's what the red thing was. That was who can hear it. Shit. Well, so much for that. I see another bottle over here. Oh, but I gotta break the glass to get it. Come on, turn around. No. Oh. Thought I'd turn for a second. Come on, come on. Hope it doesn't make too much noise. Please don't make too much noise. They're pretty close. No, we're okay. Even the shadow of the leaves rustling on the car looked beautiful. Everything's so dynamic. Alright, I'm gonna try this. Shit. Might have been a good thing, actually. Fuck. Huh. 
I'm so dead. <laughs> yep, yep, I gotcha. Let's see if I can get this one. If I just stay here, I should be able to get it. Actually, no, it's going to move too fast, isn't it? Get out of cover. Ah, no. Alright, let's try the bottle thing again. Definitely heard, and the other one definitely did not. Oh, oh the other one's kind of turning. Uh, I think I'm better off just taking the other one out. This one should be easy to take out. It's very, very preoccupied. Not sure how far my footsteps will go if I'm not crouching. All right, I definitely don't need to use the bottle here. What? No goo? No goo. Shit. This is gonna make noise. Uh. What is it asking me to do? What the hell does that icon mean? Touch? Click? I'm clicking. Oh, it wants me to press E? Oh, fuck. Uh, yeah, you fucked up. running away from me. Because I think I'm a monster, of course. Why wouldn't I? Don't come any closer! Okay. Calm down. Don't shoot.
I'm not gonna hurt you. See? You can lower your gun. I'm on your side. You're not Mobius. You might not be one of those things, but that doesn't mean you're on my side. You're right. I don't work for Mobius, but I was sent here by them. Have you seen what those things out there? What they can do? Yeah, I have. Lucky for you, your partner was willing to sacrifice himself so you could escape. He wasn't my partner. He was just a member of Union Security Detail. Protecting me was his job, and my job is to solve a hardware issue. Dying inside here is above my pay grade. I'm not a soldier. I'm just a technician. I know. Stop! Or I'll shoot! No! <coughs> A soldier would have taken the safety off. I told you, we're on the same side. Let's try this again. I'm Sebastian Castellanos. I'm O'Neill. Liam O'Neill. So you're not Mobius, but they sent you in here? Why? I'm looking for my... I'm trying to restore the core. Just like you are. Yeah? Good luck with that. I'm done. I'm just gonna hold out here until extraction. They can't extract you. Not until Lily is found. Who's Lily? Look, everyone is stuck in here until the core is located. Can you help me out? If you're asking me to go out there with you, you can forget about it. This is a safe house, so I'm staying safe. Got me? But I may have a lead on the core. I detected some signals nearby that resonate at the core's frequency. We were trying to track them when we got attacked. Here, listen to this. It sounds like a little girl, right? Quiet! Was that her? The core? I think so. But I've been picking up all sorts of weird signals on my communicator since we got here. No way to know for sure until you track it to its source. How do I do that? Your communicator can pick it up too. Once you're out there, check it. You'll see. You'll probably pick up other signals while you're out there. It wouldn't hurt to follow them to find out what- No way. The core first. It's the only way we're getting out of here. Suit yourself. Let's pair up our communicators. That way I can tell you if I find anything. Yeah, okay. Can't hurt, I guess. There were five members of your team? There was a security force already in here to help us. But yeah, there are five search team members. W wait, did you just say were? I found Baker. He's dead. Huh. Doesn't surprise me. He locked onto a powerful signal and went to investigate. I told him we should just request extraction and report our findings, leave the dangerous work to somebody else. But he wouldn't hear of it, being team leader and all. Always had to be the brave one. You ask me, there's a thin line between brave and foolish. Yeah. There's a thin line between prudent and cowardly, too. Tomato, tomato. I'm not saying I'm glad he's dead. <laughs> what kind of asshole do you think I am? I hope the others are okay. I'll let you know if I find anybody else. You'd really do that? Thanks. I'd appreciate that. Aw, oh, we're best friends now. It's more dangerous out there than I expected. Any idea where I can get some weapons and supplies? I tried to tell you about this one signal, but you didn't want to hear it. Well, I'm all ears now. I picked something up from two Mobius security team members who were talking about weapons caches. Maybe you can follow it and get some gear. Maybe they're out there, can help you out. I'll think about it. Come on, man. I'm all alone in here. I could use some protection. Maybe if you hadn't let your last guard take the fall for you. Whatever. I'll mark the signal on your communicator. Follow it or don't follow it. I don't care. We're no longer best friends. Those things are pretty tough. Takes a lot of ammo to get them off my back. Do you have anything stronger in here? 
Not in here, but you could probably find some out there. This place was designed to be peaceful, but Mobius and firepower go hand in hand. Do you know where I can find some of this firepower? It's pretty chaotic out there. You're not gonna find a pile of heavy-duty weapons altogether. But I did see something useful next to an abandoned APC just outside. I'll mark its location for you. But be careful. There are a lot of those things hanging around it. So you've been stuck in here a week already? Has it been that long? Damn. Time's a little fluid in here. This was supposed to be a simple in-and-out job. Like, home in time for dinner simple. But this is different than anything I've ever seen before. What do you mean? Wonky stuff usually happens when a core goes AWOL, but... What's happening is more than that. This place is falling apart at the seams. We use the stable field emitter, but it's not working like it's supposed to. What's the stable field emitter? If Mobius sent you in here, shouldn't you know this stuff already? I... Well, thank you for not explaining it. <laughs> Goodbye. That's it. Alright, so this is a safe house. It's got a save point. Looks like there's a crafting bench and stuff, too. Workbenches. Well, I'll get into that in the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm gonna check the safe house out, probably craft some stuff, and then head on out and see if I can survive. <laughs>